first of all, my sincere apologies for being late. I was involved in some extremely urgent uh, uh, calls. Uh, uh, in the light of the recent developments regarding the situation in Sri Lanka, I decided uh, to visit uh, this country uh, based on the consideration that it would be important to further encourage the work of the government of Sri Lanka on the process towards a political solution of the conflict and to ensure the safety of the civilian population in the north. Also, my visit has been to gain uh, a good uh, grasp of the situation in the east and the situation of the of internal dis displaced persons in the north. During my uh, brief but extremely uh, crowded uh, stay here, I met with His Excellency the President Mahinda Rajapaksa and the other major government officials, representatives of the ruling and opposition parties, international organizations and the diplomatic corps. Yesterday, uh, I visited Trincomalee in the East and met with members of the Eastern Provincial Council, uh, as well as the Chief Minister, and uh, I went, I proceeded to Waunia and uh, exchanged opinions with the international organizations who are working on the ground uh, in the North. During the meeting with the President, I reiterated the importance of the political solution to the conflict in order to arrive at a durable uh, peace and also to urge the President to expedite the APRC process uh, based on uh, Amendment 13 of the Constitution. Also, I emphasize the importance of the safety and security of the civilians in the North, including, of course, IDPs. I also mentioned uh, that the law and the order must be maintained for the future development of Sri Lanka. Uh, His Excellency the President uh, was uh, very positive and uh, in response explained how the government is tackling the above mentioned issues uh, with uh, utmost uh, interest. Let me conclude by saying that uh, Japan continues to observe very closely the developments in Sri Lanka to make sure that progress is made towards the political solution of the problem this country faces. And also the safety of the civilians uh, in the north, in particular, is properly addressed and ensured. So this is uh, my prepared statement. Uh, now uh, you are invited to ask questions Try to make your questions as uh, brief as possible and please identify yourself.